For some breaking news from the Jeff Fortenberry trial. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. After getting the case today, a California jury only deliberated a couple of hours. Tonight, they found the Nebraska congressman guilty on all three felony counts of lying to the FBI over an illegal donation. Here's more on what happened today leading up to this point. Before jurors were given the case and started deliberating, both sides gave their closing arguments Thursday. The prosecution told jurors Fortenberry clearly understood and remembered what he was told in a 2018 phone call by the host of a Los Angeles fundraiser that $30,000 in donations he received were illegal gifts that came from a foreign national. But instead of telling the FBI about what he learned, they said the congressman chose to put his self-interest above the truth and the law, saying, make no mistake, there was no mystery, there was no confusion. Meanwhile, the defense reiterated its belief that FBI investigators set up Fortenberry by feeding him the information that the donations in 2016 were illicit. Then they conducted a flawed memory test in which the congressman couldn't remember every word of a phone call in 2018. The defense said having a flawed memory is not a crime, having a partially flawed memory is not a crime, and that you should judge him on his character. Fortenberry faces up to five years in prison on each felony count. Again, Jeff Fortenberry found guilty on all three felony charges. He and his team seemed shocked by the verdict and how swift it was. Afterward, outside the courthouse, he said the appeal process starts immediately. The nine-term congressman is running for re-election this year, so will the campaign go on? He was asked that. He wouldn't comment on that question. Uh, his sentencing date is set for June 28th.